guys, it's Chelsea Grams and welcome back to another episode of Retro Games. I'm here with the absolute legend, ex players but ex Liverpool player, That's Jamie it. Redknapp. How Thanks are you, so. mate? Yeah, I'm good. You? Have you played this before? A little bit with my kids. Yeah, I'm, I've never been beaten. I don't want to talk about it, but okay. I'm, you know, I'm not just, like a bit of fighting talk to I'm start it off. A bit competitive. Off. Are you gonna let me go first? Oh yes, you can. You, you feel confident. You feel confident. So obviously, I'm just gonna bang right back into it because yeah. I'm sat with. But you've been patching a lot of her. <laughs> no, I'm sat with you, and I never really get to meet that many ex Liverpool players. So all I really want to know is like. Oh, I want to go with that one actually. That one. Yeah. What's your What's your best moment? And what's been your worst moment? Oh, down there at Liverpool. At Liverpool, yeah. Apart from the nights out and the, and the nightlife, you know. The best, I think. When I was told I was going to captain Liverpool, that was the best. There were two moments. When you first play, I remember Graham Sooner saying to me, you're going to be starting in a game. How old was you then? I, th I think I was oh. just turned 18. 18, mate. And um, I just remember like that nerves and the fear of, like, oh my God, I'm going to actually start for Liverpool. I'm going to walk out the And I'll walk out and, you know. <gasps> yeah, that's crazy. Oh, no. I can't you, can't, you can't be over already. I know. My you can't be over. How was it? I wasn't playing for him. Um, Is that allowed to do it like that? I mean, I don't think so, but I'm going to allow you because you've played for more than 250 times for my absolute team. I'll get it back. Now. <laughs> um, Sorry. What was it like playing for Kenny? Love. Well, Kenny signed me. Yep. And I'll never forget absolute my dad. Ledge. Oh, he was the best. And when he. Uh, my, I was in the Bournemouth team and my dad had been at some kind of dinner. And uh, I remember him waking me up. He'd come in, my mum, they'd been at this sort of, um, he was a Bournemouth manager at the time, so yeah. he wasn't one of the big managers. And he, my, my dad doesn't really dance, but he's going around the dance floor with my mum, and Kenny kept following him. My dad was like, what's he, Kenny, what he's following me around the dance floor for? And he tapped him on the shoulder, he said, I really want to sign your son. I was like, wow, you know, was like, my dad was like, amazing. So anyway, he come home, Do you think woke me pissed? up. <laughs> yeah, I think so, yeah. So he woke me up and said, Kenny Dalglish wants to sign you, they're, they're watching you, you know, they want you to go on trial or not on trial, they want you to go yeah. to Liverpool, see how you like it. And I went up there and just loved it. You know? yeah. As you know, What's you're a good scout, so you're What's a good scout, like? girl. <laughs> Talking about your dad, though, obviously the Spurs thing. I was at Madrid oh for the Champions League final. Yeah. Was you, you were supporting Liverpool, weren't you? I don't, I don't like to say, oh. but yeah. <laughs> I've been there 11 years. When people ask me that question, Tottenham fans sometimes get a bit funny, but I had 11 years, at a yeah. 11 and a half years, and I, had, and I had, you know, a year or two at Tottenham when I was injured most of the time. I didn't yeah. play great. I didn't have many, a couple of moments that were all right, but it was probably at that time... If I had my time again, it was probably not the right club for me because yeah. it's a big club and I didn't perform to the level. But I was, I was, no, I don't even know how I passed the medical. I'm not even convinced when they did the x ray, the x ray they were given, I'm not sure it was my knee. Because <laughs> when I looked at it, I thought, that's not the scan I had a couple of years ago. So, so I reckon they sort of freaked out. A yeah, dog's yeah, leg or yeah, something exactly, just yeah. on there. It looked really good. So I think because they wanted to sign me, they just managed to get it through. <laughs> No, obviously, um, Harry's a ledge as well. He's been on the show, hasn't he? Yeah, he came on the other day. He was good. He was Is in he good your form. Favorite? Yeah, of course. It's quite weird though with your dad because sometimes this program, I wouldn't say smutty, but it can be a little bit near the mark and a bit of swearing. Like... And I'm always a bit. My mum was in the crowd, and I've never, I never as a kid swore in front of my mum. Okay. So probably the only times he's ever heard me swear is on this show. <laughs> so um, uh, yeah, it's. Is it my go? Yeah, it's your go. I just. Knocked on all quick, that was quite fast too. Um, who's like your dream guest for the, for the show? Uh, there's a couple I'd love to get on. I think Jose Mourinho would be quite funny. Oh, God. Um, That'd be brilliant. Though. Ronaldo, Tiger Woods. Yeah. Frank's been on, Stevie Gerrard. We've had great guests. John Barnes, I love. I think I've done Yuri, have I? No, no, no. That doesn't look very stable at the bottom, does it? Let's see. Why do you pick one? Have you got to go for it? Usually, but I feel like... Oh, Go on, please do else. it. Go for it. Yes, go on. Go on. Go on. I feel like Mo Salah stepping up for the penalty. Go. No. Come in. Hey, you're out of order. <laughs> See you. Go That's on. out of order. <laughs> Thank you, Charles. That Thank was you. good. Listen, fair and square, right? Fair and well, square. Well, there was a little... I was in trouble. I've got to be honest, you just... You know. Yes, I was trying I to needed like, that. Yeah, you I needed, needed that. that. So, I I, see, Freddie, Freddie's not as... You no, know, I'm a nicer guy. I'll let you win. Not only you or your dad. Your family's a bit of, you know, gang of ballers, aren't you? Well, <laughs> what do you think sometimes. about Frank back in Stamford Bridge? So. It, it's great. I'm so pleased. Um, He's done, obviously he did really well at Derby and a big move for him to go there and because Frank's got, 
everything that you, you know, he's got vast amounts of money, he's had the career to die for, over 100 caps for England. He doesn't need the hassle, really. He could easily just do a bit of punditry, yeah. you know, sit in the background, but he's put his, I would say reputation on the line because that's not what, you know, that's probably a bit too strong, but he's taken that job at Chelsea where it would be easy to just sit back and not maybe get involved in football, but I think it's a great move for him. It's a great move for Chelsea. Yeah. He's a hero there. Yeah, he you know, is. He's a hero. They he love is. him. And I think he's going to do a really good job. People have got to be patient, though, Chelsea, because it's got... the ban, I was going to say. Yeah, the ban, and good. you've lost your best player. Yeah. You know, it's like anything. It's, you know, if we, we did a show about James Corden, it's not as easy. You know, you've got to adjust. Yeah. People have to be patient. It's going to have a different, you know, maybe a area, an idea of where, you know, what you have to do. And, and people will have to get used to that. And if the fans aren't happy, the first thing they'll do is probably not have a go at Frank because he's a god. Yeah. They'll turn maybe on the players if they, if, if they feel that they're not putting their weight in. Because there's no doubt at all that club has had too much player power for a long time. Yeah. I so mean, maybe it might change not now. Not coming off. I know, exactly. <laughs> but, you Frank, know, get him, get him Frank would have come on, yeah. <laughs> but, he's, but Frank's a, you know, he's obviously family, but he's very bright. He, he'll get it. He'll understand what he needs to do to get the club. Uh, going in the right direction because they're winners anyway. They're all serial winners, so there's, that's not a problem. It's just a case of giving them the time and stability, uh, stabilise the club to a certain extent. <laughs> One more question. Go on. I've asked the boys as well. What do you think they'd say about you? Oh, good question. I think we had, we all had this love, not hate. That's the wrong word. We love each other. Yeah. I think we're a massive, and I think that's why people like the show. So I would I would think that I'm like their brother. You know, That's maybe cute. I'm wrong, but we're uh, we're all we all get on great. We can all give it, we can all take it, yeah. and that's the key to the show. Because if you can't take, if you take yourself too seriously, don't come on the other You've got to have a bit of fun. <laughs> right there. Thank nice you for having fun. me. Thank you so nice much. Fun. Thank you. Thanks, guys.